Hey VC, back again. Um, I wasn't going to record a video tonight. Um, I was going to leave it for a little while. Um, but what happened was, well, let's go back to the other day. The other day I went for a road trip. I was going to do a road trip video. Um, going down the A38 in Devon from, from Exeter down to Plymouth. Just come back with a haul of records and have a really good video. All I managed to get was one CD. So I thought, so I was really disappointed by that. I was expecting to have this great epic of, uh, of records and it didn't happen. But then I went out today in Exeter where I live um, with very little expectation. And wouldn't you know it, picked up a, a haul of records today. Now I haven't listened to any of these. Um, I know some of them, a couple of them, um, but I thought I'd just show them and get them out there and um, there we go. Right, so, managed to get, what did I get today? I got eight albums, two mini LPs, maybe 12 inches, and then three 12 inch singles um, for the grand total of, I think it totaled up to £17.50. So, pretty good haul really. Um, so here we go. First up, The Farm, Stepping Stone, um, cover of the Monkeys track. I absolutely love this version of Stepping Stone. Um, I didn't really like The Farm that much, especially altogether now. It still irks me, that track, but this is a great cover of it of Stepping Stone. It's, it's done in a definite baggy style. I mean, there you've got the sheep in the baggy jean, in the flared jeans with the um, kicker boots. Comment on what was going on. Um, but it's a great, great version of it. Really good. And it's a better cover than um, the Soup Dragons doing Iron Free. So I'm so pleased that I've finally picked a copy of that up. I also managed to pick up a copy of this, which is Client. Um, this is... Just trying to remember her name. Yeah. So this was the band that I think her name is Sarah Blackwood, but she was the lead singer in Dubstar in the 90s, late 90s. Um, and when they folded, um, Sarah... Blackwood or whatever her name is put together this all female electro band called Client and this is the first record I've picked up by them so I'm really chuffed that I've actually managed to find one one of their records um, it's called the price it's called price of love but I don't think it's the Everly Brothers song but who knows maybe it would be because I haven't heard this before but I do like Client I've heard them on streaming and all over the shop so it's a I'm really glad I picked this one up and I think it's actually a 21st century record I've got so few of these so I'm really happy to pick this one up <clears throat> the third 12 inch I got is also an offshoot of another band that I love this is um, dry stone feed by Maine um, on Is it on? Is it on? Is it on beggars? I can't actually see very well. God, my eyes. Yes, yeah, on beggars banquet. Um, main man in Maine was Robert Hansen, who was also the main guy in Loop. And Maine are much more still plenty of drone drones going on but it's much more um ambient probably cluster like cluster like is it cluster like kind of um so more ambient more drones but still ace ace i'm so and i can't believe i picked this up in a charity shop in exeter so very happy to have that one Now, back just before Britpop, there was a short run um, um, 
music press led scene um, really just pre bit Britpop of a few bands and it was called a new wave of new wave obviously AP new wave of heavy metal and I managed to pick up a couple of couple of um, EPs come 12 inches come mini albums from a couple of other bands so this is the first one these animal men um, this is too sussed really nice Nick really top-notch Nick somebody's really had this in and I don't think they've hardly ever had it out off the shelf we can see they look like they were in an early 90s band definitely it's kind of that um, I would say sort of amphetamine driven uh, mod rock that kind of evolved into Britpop um, they never really had that much success um, they were still going all the way through Britpop they released albums and, but they never really hit it big which was, which was kind of a shame because they should have got a bit bigger than they were but excellent with an Oscar Wilde quote on the back you can't go wrong there released in 94 and along with that is this one which I did, do have on CD actually so I'm, but I'm really chuffed to find it on vinyl um, this is Smash and this is I think it's just called Smash the Smash EP I think on Rise Recordings released in 93 um and more of the same, more kind of um, pumped up, new wave. But I'm really happy I've got that one as well. So finding these two together was an absolute dream today. Absolutely brilliant. Right, onto the albums. Um, found in two different shops. Varying condition. Well, the records look really good, good shape. Covers are in sort of sorts of different shape but it doesn't really matter to me right first one is a bit of jazz now i just saw this and i thought and i was intrigued by the by him um so this is solo flight by charlie christian with the benny gordon good benny goodman sextet septet and orchestra um i haven't heard it yet but i've did a little bit of reading on the net and apparently this guy was the first one of the first lead guitar players um, moving the instrument away just from being a rhythm instrument through to actually taking the main stage um, so I'm really quite looking forward to hearing this a little bit of history I think so a lot of the so the tracks seem to be have been recorded in the early part of the second second world war period from 39 to 41 so I think I'm really looking forward to hearing that. <coughs> Another jazz record I picked up, this time released by the BBC. Um, this 1930s jazz, I think. So somebody, I think they were, this was the onset of the digital age. So somebody's... Um, Somebody's recorded like a load of 78 shellac discs digitally and then cleaned them up. So I, I wonder how this is going to sound. But you've got so I've heard of some of the people on here. Jerry, Jerry, have a little Jelly Roll Morton, um, Louis Armstrong's Hot Seven. I've heard of. It's got New Orleans Rhythm Kings on it. Uh, Johnny Dodds, original Dixieland jazz band. So I think this is going to be quite a look, good, good listen. It'll be really interesting to hear what this is like. So there we go. Originally released in '84. Must buy the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. Oh, BBC re-released it in '86. So maybe it was some sort of, I don't know, I, no idea the origins of this. I'll have to do some investigation online. That was quite a nice pick up for quid. This one I just picked up because of the um, cover. I love the cover. I thought it was brilliant. <coughs> Rock and roll party. Look at that cake. Wouldn't that just go down a tree? At, there we go. Hold it around that way. 
What a cake that is. White Gresh cake. So this is a compilation released on B and C Records. Can't see a date on it anywhere. But it's got the only name I know of this is Gene Vincent. He's got a couple of Gene Vincent tracks on it. Um it's got a Shaking Stevens track on it, but I presume that's quite an early one from, from the looks of it. Has it got a date on here? Ah, it's got some so most of the tracks are recorded in the early parts of the seventies. Gene Vincent's been a bit earlier. Shaking Stevens is in 1971, so could be a very interesting listen indeed. So some kind of rock and roll revival record here. So I'm really that great, great. Just love the cover. Had to have that. There we go, rock and roll party. Um, which led on to I saw. Obviously, somebody had re um, just donated a load of old rock and roll records because I've got this one as well, which is this is rock and roll, um, released on the Phillips budget label. So you've got Buddy Knox, I don't know, but the Clyde McFatter. Um, you've got Chuck Berry, Jerry Lewis, Bo Diddley, Fats Domino, Frankie Lyman, Marty Wilde doing Rubber Ball. So. Great. That should be a good listen as well. Which led on, and also there was this one as well, which is Pioneers of Rock and Roll. Pioneers of Rock Volume 1 on the Starline label, Gene Vincent. So a load of his tracks. It doesn't have Bebop Lula on it. Um, production date of 1964, but it's in really nice nick. I presume this is a later... Pressing. Maybe it is 19. No, it probably is because I think production 1964 on the label. Um, presumably it's an early 70s pressing um, compilation of stuff. So I don't. Do I know any of the tracks? Slipping and Sliding, I know. Susie Q has done a version of. We've got Miss Molly. Long Talk Sally. So yeah, a bit of Gene Vincent there. Sweet Gene Vincent. Right. Also picked up this one with a bit of a damaged cover, but I thought for a pound. It's JJ Kale. Um, and this one is Oki. Uh, I'm sure I've seen people show JJ Kale on the um, on the VC before. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect from this, um, apart from probably something, well, there's a lot of Cajun, Cajun Moon, uh, there's another one as well, Blues, maybe Bluegrassy, Rock and Roll, Early Rock and Roll, well sort of Rock and Roll, not really sure, but I'll do an update on this, I'm quite looking forward to hearing that. Obviously some kind of hobo thing going on in the cover because there you've got some some hobo with a guitar right, maybe JJ himself riding the boxcars. So there we go. Um, also picked up All Around Bluegrass. Plenty of the best various artists. So I know a couple of names on here. Like Lester Flat jumps out. Skeeter Davis. I know George Hamilton the Fourth. I know, um, but a lot of the a lot of them I don't. Oh, Porter Wagoner. Who's that? Mac Wiseman, Don Gibson, Charlie Monroe. Charlie Monroe. Has Headley mentioned him? Anyway, probably did pick this up because of because of. Um, Headley, but I love the cover. I just saw it and I thought, yeah, got to have that. Got to try that out. So there we go. All around bluegrass. And the final one. Um, just picked up this. Paul Simon in concert, live rhyming. Um, got a mix of 
Simon and Garfunkel and Paul Simon solo tracks with Barum Bamba and the Jesse Dixon singers. So hopefully there should be quite interesting versions of live versions of his songs. So they've got me and Julio down by the schoolyard, Mother and Child Reunion, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Sound of Silence, Boxer, El Condor Passer, Homeward Bound, America. So it's, it's got a good track list. So we'll see if that's any good as a performance right so yeah I once again I haven't listened to any of these so I'll try and post maybe later um, after I've listened to some of them um, in the comments and let you know what I think so there we go first major vinyl haul of 2017 and I think there's a lot of good variety in there really chuffed with that so thanks very much for watching everybody Hope you found something interesting there, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers, VC. Bye.